Your second question is, we have heard Alex Karp refer to competitors such as Snowflake as having thin products offering. Can you explain why Palantir solutions are so much more comprehensive than Snowflake's? The Palantir solution is not thin for a one simple reason because they never tried to make a thin product and their product was always based on the approach of boiling the ocean and their focus was to build a 10x better product which required a lot of vertical integration of most if not all of the big data OS layer. While on the other hand, Snowflake only focused on the few elements of data layer first and their idea was initially to decouple storage from consumption. The focus was simplicity and it's no brainer for many organizations who use the Snowflake in earlier days where they were already struggling with the site reliability engineering support from AWS. Palantir product is far more superior than Snowflake's. Why do you think Snowflake is managing to grow at a faster rate? In addition, do you think Palantir's growth rate can continue to beat their 30% guidance or possibly accelerate from current levels? So like I said in my previous answer that the barrier entry to Snowflake and low hanging fruits for a lot of organizations using Snowflake via immediate deployment is, is superior because it's thin product, it requires less change management, far lower cost, plug and play ecosystem with wide range of partner, customer service is excellent. So yeah, I mean Snowflake is 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 pretty good in, in, in these areas. The question is they are trying to solve things which are already misfiring in a digital transformation. Now, when you are looking for a complex or a very complex use case, Snowflake has to bring a lot of elements from different partners and this is where things can get really complicated. Now, if Palantir grows at a 30% year on year, I mean, yeah, I'll be disappointed because we are having a product which can truly change the game and it's the execution that is holding it back sometime in my opinion. So Palantir can grow much more as a company if they put more effort even if executed well, we might see 50% plus year on year and even years with 60 to 80% growth if, if everything falls in place.